Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Petrie again. The last video that I did with you guys was to tell you about why I chose to go into nursing. And that was from my car and my iPhone. Today I'm in my home office where I sew and I have my business and do video recording. So welcome to my office. But today I want to talk to you about the kind of things that I needed to do to prepare for a career in nursing. Okay, so one of the most important ones, stay in school and make good grades. When I was in high school, which was a long time ago, we had some choices about what we took, but not a whole lot. And I know you guys have some choices today, and I, but I don't know how many. So but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the kind of things that I needed to learn. Okay, math and science. Math was always kind of a challenge for me but you need to know at least a little bit of algebra, okay? Because you're gonna to need to learn how to solve for what we call that unknown thing. How do I find the value for calculating dosages and things like that? So take math and science, anatomy, physiology, chemistry, a little bit of physics, maybe all of those will help you because nursing actually is a science, okay? There's some art there, but it is also considered a science. Learn some good study habits because you're going to learn to be your own person. You've got to learn how to make decisions. Part of learning to make those decisions is how to prioritize what's important. What do I do first? What do I do second? What do I do third? Those are all the kind of skills that you're going to need to learn now and as you get into nursing and, of course, while you're in college. Um, <clears throat> problem solving skills. One of the most important things that I learned in nursing school was how to solve problems. You look at the problem, think about the different ways that you can solve a problem and you come up with a way to solve that problem and then you go back and look at, did that work? That's called the nursing process, but it can be applied to lots of different areas in life. And I'm gonna talk about that more in the next video. And then of course you learn people skills. Nursing, there are some things in nursing that you can do that don't involve a lot of people, but for the most part, nursing is all about working with people and helping people to be the best that they can be. The other thing that I wanted you to think about was the different levels of what we call nursing, from the most basic, which is being a certified medical assistant, all the way up to being a nurse practitioner, nurse practitioner, or what we call having a PhD or a doctor of nursing. And I'm gonna talk in the next video more about what all that involves. But in college, I decided to go ahead and get what we call a bachelor's degree in nursing, which means it took me four years. And I took two years of things like math and anatomy and physiology and um, microbiology um, psychology, sociology, and I took, of course, some literature and some history and some of those things. And then I did two years of concentrated nursing where I learned how to take things like blood pressure, how to draw blood, how to start an IV, how to take a history, how to ask questions, how to be a listener. All those kinds of things are part of nursing training. So it all boils down into being the very best student that you can be asking lots of questions, having a good curious mind, being interested in people, and then just being the very best that you can be at whatever it is that you choose to be. So next time, we'll talk about all the wonderful opportunities that there are available to someone that has a degree in nursing or some nurses training. See you next time.